Hello guys from the beautiful Cappadocia, Turkey. This is day three in Cappadocia. In the past two days we did the ATV tour. On the second day we did balloon tour. Both videos you can check link in the description. And today, as the title says, we are doing the free activities. So if you keep your budget low, we're gonna show you what to do on the free activities in Cappadocia. As Sench mentioned, we ATV through the Rose Valley and the Red Valley and we hot air ballooned over Love Valley. So today we're taking it by foot to Pigeon Valley, another iconic, beautiful region in Cappadocia. So it's an hour away from Gareme town. We're taking that hike, going through so many amazing sceneries along the way. And we'll find ourselves in Pigeon Valley and then check out the town of Uchishar along the way, which is another iconic view in Cappadocia. All of this is completely free. If you go into town, transfers to these areas will be 15, 20 bucks a person. Uh, but you really don't need that. Your little legs do just fine. So let's see how it is. On the car transportation note, they just bring you by the main road. It takes like 15 minutes, but you miss on all of this landscape if you do so. This is what thousands and thousands does million years did to this landscape and you get to see it only if you go by foot a little over halfway there the views are still epic and along this trail loop you get a really nice really picturesque view of Uchishar town with the Uchishar Castle cave up top. One of the most iconic views in Cappadocia and another reason why it's better to take things slowly and by foot out here with such beautiful nature. On to the next one. Okay, so after an hour and a half, we made it to the Pigeon Alley and you already see before how amazing landscape is and what amazing things we saw. And everyone here at the Pigeon Valley arrived by their transportation and it just keeps arriving so I guess it's about the whole journey not the destination itself so amen brother I messed up. we're gonna go and see what what's the pigeon valley about okay what's this noise oh my god well, there's yeah, so that's... many of them yeah I just wanted to go back oh that's where the sound is coming from oh my god look how many there are <gasps> It's hard to tell because they kind of blend in with the branches, but... Oh my god. There's so many! How cute! They're so small. It's like a little colony right it's here. Oh my god. Right I, can, I can certainly see. Got a hunter right here, huh? <laughs> Ooh. What you what you hunting for, huh? Probably the million of birds right there. Well, we made it to the iconic Pigeon Valley. This is the best viewpoint you can get from it. And as we already mentioned, people arrive here in the bus loads and there's a little souvenir shop up here. You can tell it's really one of the most well-known viewpoints in all of Cappadocia. It's definitely worth seeing. You have a view of Uchishar in the back and you can even walk through the valley itself and explore the caves down below. And if you are hearing that, you can tell why it's called Pigeon Valley. An added pro tip that I would have is don't do your souvenir shopping here. I find like local places in a little side street or something because this place doesn't have prices listed on things and that's a big red flag right away in Turkey. That's a good thing to know before you go because you have to ask for the price and it seems like they there's not a stable price. They just tell you what they want and that's it. It's overpriced here so I would recommend looking elsewhere. I hope I don't get pooped on. Huh? That's the only concern right now. It is nice, but come on, please don't. Please. <laughs> and we came prepared with some snacks. So now we're gonna have a little picnic with the most epic view right here, all for free. We had our time in Pigeon Valley and now we're making our way back to Goreme. We're going to take the route that takes us directly through the town of Uchishar. So we'll get an up close and personal view of that, show you guys what it's like. And there is actually a trail that goes through Pigeon Valley. Um, we opted for the routes that are adjacent to the valley, but with great views from above. 
but if you want to go through the valley just keep in mind it's three and a half hours one way whereas ours are a much more direct route and have epic views from above so now we have an hour back to Grame. let's see how it is whoa look how intricate the little houses are there's rooms and hallways and doors and then on our walk we happened upon a little pony ranch hi little one hi you little fuzzy thing say hi to you two. Oh, you sweet eyed little thing look at you look at you oh don't do that And that is the town of Uchishar. And now we're gonna walk a little bit on the main road to get back to Gareme. This must be one of the nicest landscapes in the world. No doubt in that. If you're watching, make sure to put it in 4K to see every detail of this incredible rocks. Along the way, there's so much panoramic cafes where you can have a coffee with this amazing be on the sunset as well so if you're up for that you can stop have a little drink remember it's December it's a bit cold so we're just gonna head back and it's a World Cup yes tonight so we're trying to get to that Croatia with Morocco Action. we made it back to the heart of Goreme town and all in all, it was a very pleasant experience. Highly recommend. We're here in December, so the crowds aren't too bad, but I've heard during season, during the summertime, crowds are kind of horrendous in the towns. So hiking, getting out into the nature is a great way to escape the crowds. So that's a great free activity here in Cappadocia. Now we're off to find some pide, traditional Turkish food, and watch the game. See you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, because we have adventures like this every day, and we post at least weekly. See you then. If you like this video, make sure to check our hot air balloon ride through Cappadocia, Turkey and see what the hype is all about. Thank you for watching.